All right, starting out with 50D Beavis. As usual. And then, I guess I should throw this in the Lagerton. Chartreuse. Stuff is awesome. And we're gonna tie it on. We're gonna do a few wraps with that. This stuff is amazing. Oh, I turned my I turned my tube just a little bit. Okay, right there, over the top, a couple behind. All right, we're gonna throw on a little bit of wire. <clears throat> if I can find it. Nah, I was gonna do silver, but I think copper will do just fine. Copper wire. Yeah, copper makes sense. Got some right here. And you can do this before or afterwards, but I've got some floral fiber in pink. That I'm gonna put on there in just a moment, just after I get a little, little bit of dubbing to prop it up. You don't need a lot. probably more than enough one quick warning it's hard to dub with um, 50d thread there we go it's just a little tiny little tail so don't get carried away with that Or do, man, it's your fly. It's your fly. Kind of a cool little thing you can do with. With uh, floral fiber is just kind of. So it tapers a little bit. Yeah, it's tapered just good enough. And I'm going to tie this down just a little ways. This is a very small, very short fly. All right. Um, so the first thing you need to do is just do a little one of those right there because we're going to come right back <clears throat> one little wrap All right and a relatively slim body of ice dub purple uv i'm not sure if the uv matters but you know what Cool looking ice tub, so we're gonna use it. That is enough. Perfect. Okay. Now we're gonna get a pink. Um, 
a hackle and not a, not a not a large one but not overly small either that's what I'm in the process of looking for all right here we go oh, I got two nice so a pink hackle yeah that'll be perfect <clears throat> Just gonna lengthen that out just a little bit. I think that feather's just a little small too. There we go. A little bit bigger feather too. Okay, now we're now we're talking. This fly, uh, you can you can run. This is a summer fly, but you can run it on a Skagit or. Scandy set up. I lost my. This is a little tougher the way I've tied this as far as the uh, wire goes. Three. Reason why is because I'm going the wrong way. Perfect. There we go. I'm going to try to get three solid wraps, possibly four. Perfect. helicopter it out of there nice okay that's what it's supposed to look like just got to go the right way perfect hmm all right this is hen cape and I'm gonna get a a reasonably sized feather on there this isn't like a, a tiny traditional it's small but not necessarily a, a tiny little traditional so we'll throw that in tip first Just fold those fibers back a little bit. One right after the other. That's looking good. That's looking really good. All 
All right, the final, final little deal, which is absolutely, we're just going to throw these guys in there as little baby horns. Nope. certainly don't need them but they just look cool what is your Cool. That's a cool little fly. That's a fun little fly. Um, there was some debate as to what we wanted to do here. I still feel like that's just too bulky. So we're gonna go with our purple friend. Yes, sir. That's the one. I always say if you like a fly, finish it twice. Go finish it twice. Guys, pretty much done. We'll go ahead and cut it. Oop. I always put it back on the tube to burn it. Man, the struggle is real. <clears throat> hmm. Guess I'm not going to this time. I'll burn it like so. Okay, that's a cool little summer fly. Um, what I will, I'm gonna show you one more thing before I get off here. Look what I'll do. So, it's a really small fly and I want a small presentation, whether I'm gonna fish it deep or whether I'm gonna fish it near the surface, okay? So that's the idea of this fly. Um, I'm gonna cut this, this is just the, this is just the remnants of a 4040 tube, okay? It used to have this big long hook guide on it. I'm gonna cut this off pretty short. Again, not, not intending to do much as far as weight on this guy goes. Um, and then this is a hook guide, um, I believe a medium. 
and I am going to also cut that darn near in half, okay? It's the cool stuff about ProTube. I will say it's a great little system because you can just make it the way you want it. And um, kind of customize your fly. There we go. Uh, I will be using a small straight eye owner, like a size four, possibly even a size six, but probably a size four just for hook gate. And there we go. There is our sweet little summer fly. Hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you guys can get to tying because they are officially here. Have fun.